Hi, in this video, we're going to walk through the steps to complete a cordage to connector splice on a LC UPC splice on connector. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Q502S, Sumitomo Electric's latest active clad alignment fusion splicer. Let's get started. Use Sumitomo Electric supplied tools for cordage and fiber splicing preparation. Cord tool, Kevlar shears, stripper, glass cleaning fluid, single fiber left side holder, single fiber ferrule holder, and cleaver. Be sure to perform the pre-fusion splice steps. Clean splicer, set splice and heat programs. To change the heater program, locate and select the correct protective sleeve setting. Cordage is structured with a two millimeter or three millimeter outer jacket, Kevlar strands, a plastic buffered fiber, a glass cladding layer, and a glass core layer. To start cordage preparation, place all rear connector components on the cord. Remove the protective tube. Use the cord tool to remove specified length of cordage. To mark the fiber to a specified length. Use the cord tool to slit the cordage. Install the protective sleeve over the fiber, down and over the Kevlar. Cut the Kevlar strands beyond the length of the protective sleeve. Now let's prepare the fiber. Fiber preparation includes four orderly steps. Stripping the fiber. Cleaning the stripped fiber. Placing the fiber into a holder, and then cleaving the fiber. Prepared fiber should be immediately placed into the fusion splicer to keep the fiber from collecting dust or incurring damage. Now let's prepare the ferrule holder for the right side. Open a holder. Carefully remove the ferrule from its protective packaging. Immediately place the ferrule into the ferrule holder. Place the ferrule holder with the ferrule into the splicer. Close the hood. Now, you're ready to splice. To perform the splice, engage the set icon on the touchscreen monitor. Fibers will fuse. Once complete, gently remove the fibers from the fiber holder. Be careful with your new splice. You don't want to break it. Slide the protection sleeve over the fusion splice. Place in the heater oven. Close the heater oven and press the heater button to start the heating process. You'll need to let the sleeve cool down for a little bit before continuing. Now you're ready to assemble the connector. Bring rear connector components to the sleeve and lightly seat sleeve Mate front connector components to rear components. Remove the tether. If you have any additional questions, go to sumitomoelectriclightwave.com.